We never got to see Arnold Wesker, aka the Ventriloquist in the Arkham games. Wesker was an orphan that was sent to Blackgate after a barroom brawl. It was there he met the puppet Scarface and murdered the man who carved the puppet. Arnold and Scarface were now inseparable, with Scarface directing Wesker on what to do. Most people believe Arnold acts his personality through the puppet. Arnold, however, sees himself as a lackey to the puppet's bidding. You can see Scarface the puppet pop up throughout the Arkham games, which is cool. We know Arnold escaped from Arkham Asylum, however, because in Arkham City, we hear on the radio that he has an officer hostage in Gotham. Dispatch. Wesker has taken a hostage and is proceeding to shoot at other officers. Now, in Arkham Knight, going to the evidence room, we can see that the ventriloquist is now under Peyton Riley, which, in canon, is the person that takes over the persona once Arnold Wesker dies. We never hear what happened to Arnold between City and Night, however, so it's possible he could have died in that police hostage situation. That's my headcanon, however. What do you think? Let me know. I'm sending you back to the ventriloquist where you belong.